Hello, my name's Chris from the Mad Better channel. Welcome to another video. I recently saw something on YouTube which stated that the Mac version of Lightroom Mobile had a function to create borders, but the Android version did not. And also that Lightroom Classic didn't have that facility either, either Mac or Windows. So it got me thinking and I've come up with a simple way to quickly create borders in Lightroom Classic. There are a couple of limitations which I'll discuss later. So here we are in Lightroom Classic and we'll work first on this file here, which for reference you'll note was shot on an R5 and is the full 45 megapixels, i.e. 8192 times 5464. So we'll hit D to go into the develop module. And first thing to say is you can create a sort of a border by using the vignette tool. So if we go into effects, crank the amount up to 100, move the midpoint to zero, round this to minus 100 and feather there's a, a sort of a, a vignette it's quite narrow and of course has rounded edges and of course if you want black one you go to minus 100 you can move the midpoint to make it even narrower and you can change the roundness to make it thicker although of course the rounded corners become more obvious and naturally you can feather it as well if you so chose. So that's a quick and dirty way to create a vignette, but I have a better method. So here we are with our image again. We'll hit Shift and W to go into masking. And to create our preset, we're going to use four linear gradients. So we'll select the linear gradient, hold Shift to make sure it remains horizontal or vertical, and we'll drag out our gradient and then reduce the feathering to zero like that. As you'll discover later it makes sense to name these gradients so we'll double click and call this one top and then we'll add another linear gradient hold shift again and drag it out Reduce the feathering to zero and we'll call this one right. So I don't want to waste your time watching me produce the other two gradients so I've skipped ahead. I've added another two gradients of the same width called left and bottom. So now we want to create our preset. So we go over to the presets panel, click on the plus and create preset. Now the only thing we want to include in our preset is the masking nothing else and we'll call it photo border. And click create. And there's our preset. So here we are back with the file. I've removed or deleted all the masks. So now if we want to add a border to this image, we just go to presets and click on photo border click on masks and there's our border we can then go to exposure and go to minus four for a black border or plus four for a white border sometimes you'll find that some of the underlying image shows through there's a great deal of contrast you can either try moving the whites up or alternatively duplicating the mask and that will certainly get rid of any underlying issues. Next a couple of drawbacks with this solution. First of all as you'll see the border is always on the inside of the image. Unlike in Photoshop where you can expand the canvas and have your border on the outside of the image or you can use the crop tool to extend beyond the image to accommodate an outside border you can't do that in Lightroom Classic. And certainly the crop tool won't extend beyond the boundaries of the image. The second downside, if you can call it that, is that as far as I can see, you can only have either a black or a white border. I haven't found any way of creating a particular colored border 
which is not really surprising when you consider that what we're doing is not we're not adding pixels to the image we're just adjusting the p existing pixels underneath the border area so the only way to make the border fully opaque is either to clip all the pixels to black by going minus four or clip them all to white by going to plus four so those are two downsides to be aware of on the plus side you're not stuck with the size of border provided by the preset that you make so if we go into here if you click on the mask the overall mask and then click inside you actually can move everything around if on the other hand you click on one of the four in individual linear gradients you can adjust just that one on its own so you can have smaller you can have uneven borders or you can make them all the same but say smaller so that's left top make the top one narrower bottom and right so now we've got a narrow border and of course similarly you can feather your border each side individually or all together so in this case let's um, have a feathered border so it does have some flexibility about it and then as I've mentioned before you can see the dark sea here so the answer to that is either to move up the whites or to duplicate the mask so there is some flexibility in this approach you may remember at the beginning of this video I mentioned the size of this file we've been working on which was 8192 times 5464 pixels now I want to demonstrate that the preset we created using this file does actually work on other file sizes so if we take this file here it's much smaller 1080 by 1350 and it's also portrait orientation rather than landscape so let's go into the develop module and we'll click our photo border and you'll see that it has produced a roughly equivalent border to that of the much bigger landscape image although the two the top and bottom are not identical to the left and right but obviously we can quickly deal with that by clicking the bottom and moving that one down and clicking the top and moving that one up so I think this solution does work for all different sizes an orientation of images regardless of which image you use to create the original preset finally I would encourage you to experiment and see what different types of borders you can come up with using this approach and let me know one example I have achieved is to produce a color border but which is transparent and you do that by clicking on this color squat swatch here choosing the color you want and you see you've got a, a blue border now you can darken it down a bit to make it stand out a bit more and i think that would be better if it was feathered so we can feather each of the four gradients and there so that gives a different look but as I say let me know what you can come up with well I think that's enough for this video if you found it useful and got any value from it perhaps you would consider giving it a like and even subscribing to the channel but in the meantime many thanks for watching